weather outlook with Jeff Gianola and jazz musician Tom Grant. We'll Welcome back to Two or Four. We were going to make this a surprise. Now, you know Tom Grant. You usually see him at Cousins, or you can listen to his albums, and he makes beautiful music. Well, from the looks of things, he makes beautiful music in the kitchen, too. Will you welcome Tom Grant? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. This I is think. <laughs> this is no, this is a hidden talent that we were talking about all week, and uh, you're making something called Joe's Special. That's right. What's so special about this? Well, Joe's Special is special because number one, it's easy, and I think it's fairly economical, and I think it's fairly healthy because you use spinach and natural, I mean, uh, fresh uh, vegetables. Anyway, let me get started because. Uh, um, because I got to start, I don't have much time. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have seven minutes here we go. Uh, Joe's special pressure. basically is is uh, a mixture of spinach and uh, ground beef and mushrooms and uh, and green onions, and uh, it's topped off with a, with a little sauce. So it's it's kind of elegant and okay. uh, v very unpretentious. I want to start with showing you how to <laughs> how to clean spinach because a lot of people have trouble with this you know i do i always have sand in it yeah it's very sandy and gritty you see and, uh -huh. and it's it's really easy now normally i might have a sink right here you know filled with water already and you just dump it in here and kind of uh uh agitate it around like this i would like to have a bigger bowl is that actually. all you have to do yeah really? basically and then and then instead of uh, taking each leaf off individually you just twist this here like this you this is discard what that like an that there. Gourmet cook. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Very good. Soak that around. Like, then you take this, you know, then you swish it around and get it nice and clean, and then you throw it in your pot and steam it. And steam it, you only need to steam spinach for about 40 seconds, and it's steamed up real nice. Two bunches of spinach. Show us what it looks like, Tom. Will come out to be just this much stuff <laughs> here after you drain it and you squeeze some of the liquid out. There you go. All right, that's your spinach. Now. The right. thing you got to do for this dish is make a cream sauce. Uh, it's called a bechamel sauce or something like that. Okay. Uh, I've seen it on the menu. Yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, okay. You start with, uh, you make a roux. Where's my butter? Oh, here's the butter. Okay. And let's get the heat on about medium fire here. You take uh, <laughs> this butter already melted while it's sitting waiting for me. I like this guy. He works the way I oh, do. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what we're going to do here is make a kind of a thickening <laughs> agent called a roux, R-O-U-X, for those of you who are taking notes. Now, flour. Oh, yeah. You add flour. And I've already got some warm cream, half and half or whatever you want to use, waiting on the stove here. I tried to get it to the right. It should be kind of what they call scalded right before it boils. Hopefully, that's going to be warm enough. All right. We melt the butter here. And the butter is melting not quite as fast as I'd like. All right, how much flour are you putting in there? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm using two tablespoons of, of butter. Is that right? No, four tablespoons of butter <laughs> and a fourth cup of flour. Tom, I know you're great you like at the piano, so but that does not look like a fourth of a cup of flour. It doesn't? Not even close. Am I uh, right? Does that look like a fourth of a cup? That looks like two tablespoons. But that's okay, uh, you're doing this. Yeah, it's okay. It's a fourth yeah, of a okay. cup. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll dump that in there and <laughs> proceed to make the roux. You just blend this stuff. Oh, I should turn it down a little bit here. <laughs> and it'll make a nice little goo, a gooey paste. How do you keep the hope. lumps out? Well, Mary, I'm glad you asked me that. You just kind of uh, watch it there and are no uh, lumps in you there. talk to it. Uh, it's kind of bubbly, but that'll do for now. Okay. And then you take your, uh, take the cream off the heap. This is half and half, and this is uh, like two cups. You pour your roux in there, and it's important to take it off the heat. I'm burning my thumb very badly right now. Yeah. But it's he's okay. Such I don't a have to use it for anything. <laughs> and then you put this mess back on the. Okay, Tom, the they're out there giving us, and we haven't really? even gotten How much close. Time we got? Oh my god. We okay. have to really so that'll make thicken this up. fast. All right. Gee, and th now what you want to do is uh, heat up some oil in. This pan. Let me let me transfer over here to the. Uh, Can I the ask you? Do you have burner. one of these already finished? Are you kidding? No. Oh, you don't. We no. better get moving over really? here. Really? Okay. We gotta show the folks what this is gonna look oh, like. Oh. Uh, okay. So we want to heat the uh, oil, and that's gonna take a second. Oh my gosh. Well, let's just throw the. <laughs> let's well, we throw the beef in. This was gonna be a piece of cake, and yeah. now he's saying they lied eight to me. Eight minutes to do this. Sure. Okay. Okay. So you stir the so ground beef, stir and you get that cooking here, over and you here. You brown that. You brown that. And then if I. Then you put your mushrooms in. This is normally, <laughs> normally we'd wait into for this to brown meat. up. Yeah, into the raw meat. Well, what can I tell okay, you? Okay, that's okay. We're, okay. we're doing fine. Oh, we're I hear something fine. now. 
Something's starting to happen. Something's starting to happen in there. Okay. Okay, you get this brand. Normally, you, should, you know, the meat should be at least, you know, half looks done. Looks good to me. Yeah, that looks really I like good. it rare. Yeah. Real rare. Okay, you uh, so you get this going get and... Get the whole uh, thing sautéing over there. Yeah, you sauté. That's right. That's a good term for it. <laughs> and, and then... Uh, am I sweating? Is there sweat on my... See, we told you we we're going to make you sweat. How much time have I got? I'm You've doing... got about a minute and a half left. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Okay, well, see if we had gassy, so, it, it, it might go a little bit. So let's fast. pretend, uh, let's this, pretend is this is already brown here. Okay. Then you would dump. Then you would dump the, uh, mm, the okay. green onions. I should have brought it in, a, you know, plastic form and had it all ready to put on the plate. See, it, okay. next time the you do this, you have a finished be, one. Yeah, that's what I mean. The last step would be <laughs> is to put the spinach in. Put the spinach in. I haven't even seasoned any of this yet. You would, well, why don't you, you would tell normally, us what you would do? You know, you would normally do a little bit of this. Like, let's say we had another salt, seven minutes. Yeah. Salt, pepper. Do you need these carrots for anything? Yeah, we're going to show what it looks like when it's oh. all finished. Okay. <laughs> Thought we might have to cook those, but okay. Yeah. Now, this isn't really browning up too good, and, and food is flying all over the kitchen. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we'll put in the plate raw meat and all, folks. Mm, <laughs> Boy, that looks really good. Then you, spoon, the then you spoon the, uh, the sauce over here. You spoon that over. Let me get that on. You don't never want to put your hands on the food. <laughs> hey, like no joke. Did. And some. Let's hear it for Tom Grant. Did he do yes. a great job or what? what think, eh? He did a great job. Now, we're going to make this recipe available to our viewers. Yeah, it's, it, called, it, it's really good. <laughs> and no, can't you just you use your do, imagination? You can't this do this is in great. eight minutes. Looks, you can. You did a great job. If you want the recipe, send, send a uh, self-addressed stamped envelope to uh, 2 and 4, Post Office Box 2, Portland, 97207. And um, you want to ask for Joe's special, and it'll tell you how to do it and cook the meat at the same time. Yeah. Before we go, we want to right. talk about your album. This is the fifth album that Tom has out, and it's available at all... Available, look, easy for me to say. Available at all the stores, especially Music Millennium. And on it, he has written every song except one, so you want to look for that. Tom, thank you for being with us. And next time, it's going to be a lot easier. My pleasure. We are going. <laughs>